और रूस यूक्रेन युद्ध के बीच भारतीयों की सुरक्षित वतन वापसी लगातार जारी है भारत और रूस के बीच इसको लेकर लगातार बातचीत भी हो रही है कैसे भारत और रूस मिलकर इस दिशा में काम कर रहे हैं इसे लेकर जी मीडिया संवाददाता कृष्ण मोहन मिश्रा ने भारत में रूस के राजदूत से खास बातचीत की है इस समय पूरी दुनिया यूक्रेन संकट से जूझ रही है और इस समय हमारे साथ हैं भारत में रूस के चार्ल्स डी अफेयर्स एम्बेसडर रोमान बाबुश्किन गुड इवनिंग सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एस सर आई विल स्टार्ट विद द बिगेस्ट कंसर्न ऑफ इंडिया दीज डेज सर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स आर स्टैंडर्ड इन यूक्रेन दे आर इन खार कीव दे आर इन कीव दे आर इन मैनी सिटीज one of them has already uh, already uh, died and uh, we got news that one more has been injured and he is in hospital sir what would you like to say to indian parents who are waiting for safe arrival of their children uh, good afternoon good afternoon so uh thank you for the invitation first of all it's a pleasure to be with you today Uh, on such a moment when this Ukrainian topic is on the top of the agenda these days and unfortunately it uh, brings uh, uh, sad news uh, including uh, the situation around uh, the foreign nationals in Ukraine including uh, indian students and uh, that was a very very unfortunate incident when one of them uh, died um, so uh, i would like to join Uh, the condolences which were expressed before by the indian government by the russian officials including the russian ambassador as well um uh, we are very committed to uh, conduct a very thorough investigation of what happened uh the reasons are unknown there are so many uh, information about uh the possibility of uh, you know, of uh, causes of, of the death so uh, some people say about the shelling or some people say about cross firing and uh, um that remains unknown at the moment so uh but let me reiterate once again that the russian army is not targeting civilian objects it is uh, as it is presented by the western media Uh, unfortunately so because they don't need the truth they just you know will use the fake as their you know um main tool of uh, present the picture of what's going on sometimes they uh in, in you know uh in, you know exaggerate extremely uh, the situation and present uh, the uh pictures of the uh, uh, devastated areas in donbass area which was and uh, well, you know, I've before is something which has happened to Kiev and other cities and so on so and uh, um the russian army is moving very slowly because of that very reason that that uh, we uh, there is a order not to target civilian objects not to target civilians uh using only high precise weapons that's why the movement is quite slow of the of the army so but, but at the same time they resist to the nationalists who do not follow any orders who use uh, the people including uh, uh, foreign citizens and human shields and uh, we are uh, ready uh, to do everything possible to uh, uh, support the indian government efforts to ensure the efficient and a speedy evacuation of the indian nationals i know that the coordination is going on between the defense ministers uh, our leaders had a telephone conversation uh, on that so well and we are, we are working everything possible to evacuate uh, the uh, stranded indian nationals from kharkiv first of all to the russian borders in order to further bring them back to india and uh, what is really important that uh, russia from the very beginning prioritized the issue of uh, humanitarian humanitarian corridors from uh, those areas where fighting where fighting is going on and uh, um, we are very satisfied that during the last round of negotiations with the ukrainian side this topic uh, this topic was discussed and both side, sides agreed to cut the rate on that so second question is uh, india Uh, has abstained from voting against Russia in UN. 
how is russia taking it uh, india is uh, uh, following its uh, uh, independent policy and uh, balanced approaches as it is a, a well reputed global responsible uh, power we know that uh, uh, how much pressure is there on India in order to change its, its position against Russia. Uh, well, uh, the abstention of India in the United Nations is um, the option which was chosen by India. And uh, I guess not just because uh, there is a good will towards Russia, although we uh, know that, that uh, there is an uh, um, unprecedented level of understanding of uh, the Russian decisions and the Russian policy there. Uh, it is also uh, about the Indian national interests. In order to uh, remain uh, one of the poles of the world, uh, defending multipolarity as the value and uh, sharing sharing uh, the priorities to establish a multipolar world which should be just and equal, which should be guided by the universally recognized international law, uh, United Nations Charter, and um, uh, without without any double standards, hidden agenda, unilateral pressure, which comes uh, 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 in contradiction to the international law. At the same time, uh, we are absolutely like-minded with regard to the issues of undivided uh, security, and we are ready to continue the same uh, unparalleled level of coordination with India in the United Nations and other international forum. So, so you were talking uh, about Western media, Western media and their uh, lead, uh, Western leadership, they all are claiming that because of Russia's aggression, this crisis is born. What is your perspective uh, on this issue? Uh, so, uh, the crisis uh, didn't start right now. It didn't start with the uh, decision of the Russian president, uh, Vladimir Putin, to conduct a special uh, military operation. Uh, so, uh, this military operation is, in fact, um, uh, is aimed to end the eight years of war, war, which started a long time before, which started when uh, the anti-constitutional coup happened in Kiev with the support, with the support of West, when um, uh, the uh, you know uh, anti-Russian extremists were brought to power in Kiev, and uh, uh, during all these years. Uh, the uh, negotiations were on, and uh, uh, well, uh, we uh, always were supportive of, of the talks, but unfortunately, uh, not that, that just these uh, talks didn't bring any fruitful results, and uh, nobody could influence uh, key authorities to implement Minsk agreements. But also, uh, during all this time, the uh, Kiev regime, neo Nazi regime, uh, was uh, doing g genocide and uh, mass killing of the peaceful population of Donbas, Russian-speaking society, violating of their uh, basic human rights, and uh, the West was, uh, you know, uh, uh, turning a blind eye on all that. So they were not such an uh, emotional like today, uh, when actually uh, Russia has. Uh, suggested ultimately that we need the security guarantees since NATO is moving uh, eastwards and deploying more weapons, more troops, more aggressive policy against Russia. So, and uh, after these uh, uh, suggestions were ignored, so, and uh, when actually the uh, uh, troops from that side was amazed, amazed by the numbers of uh, more than uh, 100,000, which were equipped with modern Western weapons, which were ready to uh, uh, military ways resolve, to resolve the crisis of the Donbas region. So it was a you know, critical moment. And uh, uh, because of that, uh, the Russian president decided to conduct a special military operation, which is aimed at demilitarization and denazification of, of Ukraine. Because why the Western media is not uh, covering the situation from that side. 
they block the Russian media and they don't listen to, to us. So, well, we call upon everyone not to rely on social media, but you know, follow the official statements, official positions. That would explain uh, a lot of things right now. So, for example, uh, we are all uh, aware that the, the hundreds of thousands of civilians were killed when the uh, America and uh, their NATO allies were trying to, uh, to bring democracy to Iraq, to Libya, to Afghanistan, to Syria, and other countries as well. So this is uh, something uh, which, which we should be very mindful about. And uh, um, uh, another, you know, uh, just fresh example of the fake news that the uh, uh, Russia targeted another nuclear station in Ukraine. So this is completely fake because actually that was a provocation conducted by the nationalists who uh, captured the uh, training center nearby of this uh, uh, of this uh, nuclear station and uh, in an open fire against the uh, Russian soldiers. And when uh, Russian soldiers were were target, targeting them, they were trying to leave this area and uh, you know well, um, yeah, and uh, uh, have blown up one of the buildings. But uh, of course, a nuclear station remains safe and actually it is functioning properly. So now many countries have imposed sanctions or uh, some sort of ban on uh, Russia's economic activities. How is Russia prepared to counter this economic slowdown uh, that is uh, imperative because of this uh, economic blockade throughout the globe? Mm -hmm. The situation is uh, um, uh, unprecedented, unprecedented. But what we can say that you know sanctions in today's conditions and today so in today's world has become the cost for independence. And, you know, in spite of uh, trying to find a mutually acceptable solution in, in order to you know, find some you know, balance of interests. So uh, the West altogether started just doing one thing. They have announced competition who would be more creative <laughs> in anti-Russian sanctions. Can I believe so? So uh, this is a not only economic and financial system of, of the country. So uh, our airlines have been blocked. Uh, our sportsmen are not participating in the international events. You know, uh, uh, it, it is also you know covering uh, culture. It is also covering you know uh, many many. So you are listening to Russian Rajdut presenting B News app available on Google Play and App Store. Download it now.